Hello and good evening. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. My apologies on this minor camera adjustment. No, we're not having an earthquake. Ah, it's still sagging a bit, but let's see if I can fix this. Problem is my phone's too heavy. That's the problem. All right, that is a little bit better. Good evening, everyone. Uh, please do drop a hello in the comments. When I look out both here on my desk, off to this side, you guys can't see it, but it's off to this side, and I look out that way to Matt's desk, we have quite an eclectic collection of goodies to show you tonight. And you know what? Some of it I have really only had a glancing um, peek at myself. So I think this is going to be a really fun what's new. It's kind of like Christmas. Even though we are only partway through June. And certainly I am not wishing the summer away. Uh, I've got a couple of things to talk to you about. New stuff. Who's ready? Who's ready for some new stuff? Who's ready for some enabling? Who is ready to get some fun stuff in your stash? Um, Sheila says she's really anxious to see some of the new lines. We actually don't have a lot of paper to show tonight. Uh, some of them are still in transit. And um, a lot of what we've been ordering lately will be coming in July. Um, I think we've actually, last week uh, when we showed uh, the Simple Vintage or the Simple Stories uh, releases, that was the latest um, that we got in in terms of paper. Um, we do have some paper today, but um, lots of other stuff too. And I'm actually going to start off with the other stuff. Patricia says she's ready. Excellent. All right, let's jump right in then. <clears throat> we have some new mini expressions dies. These are probably some of our most popular dies. The mini expressions dies from uh, Creative Expressions. They are great little um, sentiment dies. This one here, I mean, they're, they're usually about two, two and a half inches tall and maybe three inches wide. They are perfect for uh, card making, but these would also be great on tags that you could put on your layouts. Um, just because they are small does not mean that they would not work uh, in a scrapbooking scenario. Uh, there are these three from uh, Creative Expressions. And we also have a brand new one from, well, brand new to us. Congratulations from Heffy Doodle. So if you need some great little sentiments, those are now in the house. Um, they cut like butter. They, they really are very reliable. And even though they are super dainty, they do come out of your paper really quite lovely. All right. Next up, while we're talking about sentiments, I'm going to come over to this pile here. Um, when we had these in, in the past, they kind of flew out the door in about a week. And then a lot of them were difficult to get again. Um, we have the wordy sentiment sheets. These are new sentiments. They're not the same as what we've had before. This one is friendship and this one is thank you. And basically what they are, they are a sheet of pre-printed sentiments that you can just trim and cut or use your sentiment strip dies to um, cut these out and put them again on your cards, in your journals, uh, on your layout pages. You get two sheets of black with white writing. You get two sheets of white with black writing. So that's a ton of sentiments. And they've got some real, so this thank you one has some really great ones. Uh, just because you're a star, thanks for everything. Thanks for always being there for me. You've made my day. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And again, those repeat across the black and white or white and black. Under friendship, we've got best friends forever. You're one in a million. Uh, you are my best friend. You're simply the best. Giggles. I know someone out there in our community who loves to use the word giggles. Faye, this one is for you. Giggles. 
uh, Forever Friends, You're My Bestie. So once again, two sheets of black, two sheets of white. Um, I believe they're just over $5, maybe close to $6. Uh, for those four sheets, but this way you don't have to stamp. You don't have to do anything other than trim and stick. So those are new in also from Creative Expressions. While we're in, um, in that world, and by that I mean the, from a, a specific distributor that we, that we order from, um, we got some new stuff from Cosmic Shimmer. So also from across the pond, uh, Creative Expressions is from the UK. Uh, Cosmic Shimmer is also from the UK. We have new uh, gilding wax. So in the past, and we still have um, the little pots from Sizzix that give this um, beautiful metallic creamy uh, texture. They come in a pot. These ones are a little bit different. These ones are a little bit more water-based and they come in a squeeze tube. Um, they are they are very nice to work with. I know Marcy was doing some swatching and some um, playing around last night. You can mix it with water so that you can flick onto your surface. You can uh, water like watercolor with it, paint with it. And what I like about the Cosmic Shimmer ones is there is quite a range of colors. So we have our your usual, and this is the gold. This is tarnished gold. And when I say this looks like a lip balm, it really, really does. So make sure you do not confuse that with your lip gloss. Um, Cause I'm not sure, I'm not sure that that would be recommended. That might be awkward. Matt saying it might be awkward. Um, certainly wouldn't taste very good. Anyways, you just squeeze it out and then you can smoosh it around. And this is hard for me to do kind of in the air. Well, that, that's what I just did. But now if you can get me a baby wipe so I can not get gold all over everything else. Matt's just um, egging me on here. So this is the tarnished gold. And like I said, it just kind of smooth. And I mean, it's pretty much over there in the above my chocolate. Um, it really just smooths out and it is now completely dry to the touch. So just in that few seconds, it really does... Um, play nice and cover nicely. You could use a paintbrush. You could use um, you could use a blending foam. You could, um, like I said, you can you can splatter it. You can squish it. You can, of course, use the tools that come at the end of your arm. So let's go through some of these colors. If I can get this lid back on, there we go. So, like I said, that was the tarnished gold. We have this one here, which is a brighter gold, I believe. Where are the names on these guys? Matt says we have to look at the bottle for the name. So let's, this is warm gold. So it is definitely a brighter yellow than the tarnished gold, but gives you lots of options. There is a silver. This one looks like it is a pewter. Oh, it's bronze. Autumn bronze. Get those back in. This one was the silver note, I think, that Matt was just talking about. Yep, silver note is the brighter silver. We've got this one is rose gold, and it is stunning. Now, I know Darlene uh, took some home yesterday, and Marcy took some home yesterday, so you guys have a favorite please put that in the comments this one is golden bronze yes definitely they are awesome to be in tubes they're nice and small so you can put them in a, one of our little um totally tiffany solutions and uh just keep them all nice and compact uh, this one is pearl and this was one of the ones that I was really excited about because it gives you that um, whitish color as we start heading into the holiday season. This one was enchanted gold. Oh, so this looks like a, a, a much paler gold. 
Uh, Darlene is saying the red and the rose gold so far are her favorites. Um, I'll get to the red in a second because that one's going to stay home with me uh, for sure. This one is one called... The red one is staying home with me. Misty teal is also quite beautiful. And then, you know, red. Red, red, bright, brilliant, gorgeous red. Let's see if it has a fancy name. Indulgent red. How is that for a name? So just to show you, we'll squeeze. And again, let's smear it look at how beautiful how beautiful that red metallic is and like i said pretty much dry to the touch just a few seconds after you use it um i see all kinds of holiday crafting coming our way with these beautiful beautiful gilded touch um water-based gilding waxes and look it came pretty clean too so Easy clean, easy to use, brilliant colors. Um, these would be fun through stencils, you name it. I mean, the possibilities really are endless. So if you wanna see more than, uh, if you wanna see the swatches, we, are, we have requested a swatch board. We're just waiting for that to come in. Otherwise, maybe if we all split it up, we can all have a wonderful uh, swatch for the store. All right. What have I got next? Okay, next up is, um, well, we were talking about simple stories. So let me continue on a little bit with simple stories. We have a brand new um, project kit. This one is for Summer Lovin'. And this, again, would be a perfect kit to take uh, to the cottage or the trailer or, you know, on a rainy day like tomorrow, um, be the perfect project for that to get ahead of things. Uh, it come, It's a nice thick one. And I think if we were to do it again, I would put some spacers here in the spine so that it would lie a little bit more flat. And we will do a full video for this. Um, but look, lots of pockets, lots of little fold outs. It uses the divided pages. This one has a fold out as well. Uh, this would be a great one for a teen or a tween maybe who was going away to camp to capture all their memories. Um, great little gift for them to come home to. And it just, I love this little side pocket. And look at the cute little fireflies uh, right in there. So you can just tuck those right in the pocket. So this kit comes with all of the paper, all of the stickers, all of the embellishments, as well as the flip album itself. And I believe some extra pages so that you've got all of this. Oop, that one's stuck together. Look at that barbecue lemonade. So much fun. All you need is your adhesive, your paper trimmer. The instructions take you right through um, cutting all of your paper and then right through step by step on how to build this cute little album. So that is a full kit that you can pick up in the store or online. Now, while we're talking about making off the page kind of stuff, um, I think we had talked about this uh, before, uh, but we finally got it in the store. It's the brand new explosion box from Photoplay. Matt saying it's been a while coming. Uh, the girls got a sample made. And how this works is it's just, it's naked. It, you can get a white one or you can get a black one. White or black. And I'm just realizing Nikki Cher, she also uh, designed uh, the two Echo Park kits that we have in the store. Anyways, this guy opens up and oh my stars. This is absolutely exploding with goodness. So there is a little pull out accordion section here in the middle. There are little tiny pockets here on the inner layer. And you can always decorate and put photos on the other side as well. This guy's not gonna stay closed. 
These ones are little pockets as well. They've got the little thumb notch. You could always get one of the accessory packs and use the tags in here. And then some more slit pockets on the outside. Um, I've always loved explosion boxes as gift items because you can add so many pictures. Uh, they would be great for a baby shower, for a grandparent, um, for uh, a wedding gift, for a bridal shower wedding gift, um, for a teacher's gift. If you had p uh, photos of the class throughout the year, or if you just wanted to do it in school themed paper um, and have the teacher add the, the photos to it as well. So again, black and white. Uh, there are full instructions inside. So this is what it would look like if you had it all decorated up and really quite easy uh, to make these little projects. We also have, and let me, nope, so that's the, that's what the instructions look like in the explosion box. We also have, now in black, Folio 4. Folio 4 used to only be in white. Well, now we have it in black. And here is how it, oh, look, magnets are, are they included? Yes. Wow, the magnets are even included. So oh, that one didn't stick very well. So we'll have to put a glue dot on that, but that magnet's closed and then it opens up and we've got all kinds of pullouts. It looks like I've got it upside down. We've got pullouts. Here's a pocket, more pockets, a great little accordion, this little middle flap here that you can tuck stuff in. This is a double pocket here that would be great for tags. Uh, yes, big thank you to Chris for putting these all together. Um, really love that uh, they are so easy to put together and uh, they look fantastic. So thank you, Chris. And uh, that's one that looks like it's all decorated up. Instructions are included. These really do make easy, easy mini albums and you can mix and match any papers that you want. You don't have to use photo play paper. You can use whatever paper you want and um, just have lots and lots of fun with it. So that is from photo play. But that's not all because we also have a new collection pack from photo play called Go outside and play. That's what we're saying to the kids. Go outside and play. This is the time to enjoy the weather and get outside. And we have rocket ships and sailboats and plaid call outs. I love the little bumblebees. Playground. We've got stripes and look at all these fantastic stickers. Now this one we only have collection packs, correct Matt? Yes. Look at those stickers. So many stickers uh, just filling up this 12 by 12 selection. And then we're going to end off photo play with something you may have seen before, probably have seen before because we had it in the store before, but there has not been a lot of grad paper out and about in the industry. So we decided to bring back uh, since we were able to still get it, some of this great grad day paper from PhotoPlay. Now it is color play, which is their alternate printing process. So there is a bit of a shine to it. It's got a little bit of a glossier finish, but it is still absolutely beautiful to work with. There is a beautiful stripe. Here are some great call outs some great cut aparts. And all you have to do is add um, cardstock, solid color cardstock in your school colors. And then you can absolutely um, really personalize this for your graduating student. So only the three pages, um, but great for kindergarten graduation, high school graduation, college graduation. And I know that there are a lot of schools that are catching up on their convocations that were missed due to COVID. So there are probably lots of grads uh, to be caught up on. There is a stamp set that goes with that as well. Congrats, grad. Your numbers so that you can personalize the year. And then not grad related, but uh, restocked by popular demand. And I, I say that respectfully, 
Um, sadly, we always have need for sympathy and apology um, sentiments, and they are really hard to find. So we restocked this set from Photoplay. There is a coordinating die to go with it. And again, some really uh, sensitive and meaningful uh, strip sentiments to go with it. I uh, didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Wishing you comfort and peace. Sending you my love and prayers. Uh, definitely a staple that we should unfortunately need in our stash. All right. So while Matt reloads my table over here, I've got two things to tell you about. First thing, and you probably already know this, but let's have a reminder. This Friday, Flash Sale Friday, whoop, whoop. Who, raise your hand if you got some good deals from us uh, last Friday. We had 10 hot deals, 10 hot deals for um, Flash Sale Friday. And Flash Sale Friday is not just on Friday. It lasts for Friday saturday sunday and monday while supplies last so if something is really hot and it sells out fast then it is gone for the weekend um but uh, oh sheila's saying she got some good deals i know a lot of you stocked up on your vicky Booten sugar rush and we did have quite a run on our distress embossing glaze uh, so we're really happy to find those some great new homes they were amazing sales uh this Friday, not tomorrow, but Friday, Friday, we will have 10 more hot new deals. Mm, maybe nine. Maybe nine, Matt's saying. Maybe we, maybe we can convince him to do 10. Maybe, we, maybe some of those individual items are actually full lines. There will be no shortage of deals. Uh, so make sure you tune in right here on Facebook, 10 a.m. on Friday. And I will give you the whole scoop, the rundown, the whole shebang. Um, yeah, so make sure you get in on that. We are going to try and do this every Friday throughout the summer, uh, with the exception probably of Canada Day, which is a holiday. Uh, so every Friday, tune in. If you miss us, you can watch the replay. We will upload it to YouTube, or you can go straight to the website at 10 o'clock. Click on the homepage banner and you will see all the deals there. Um, number two, which I don't actually have a visual for, uh, starting on Friday, the latest edition of Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine will be available. When you spend $30 or more starting on Friday, so unfortunately your purchases tonight or tomorrow do not count, but your purchases starting on Friday, $30 or more, will qualify you for a free issue of the magazine. Now, uh, we had some questions last time and I know when we were closed and there was a lot of, um, we, we kept changing, trying to make it as easy as possible for you to get one added to your cart. We're not gonna put it on our website. If you are ordering online and you wish to have a copy of Scrapbooks and Cards Today, Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine put in your bag, put in your box, then please write a message in the order notes. There is a limit of one per person and we do track it. Um, so just put a note in your order notes or simply come in the store and make your purchase in the store. Uh, we only get 100 copies and they go fast. So don't wait if you really want a copy. And I know the ladies at the store were kind of sneak peeking looking through it today um, before we were giving it out to the customers. And there's some really cool inspiration ideas in there. So please make sure you put that in your order notes. If you want a copy of the magazine, we will not assume that you want one. Um, so just let us know. All right, last announcement, and then I will get into this next pile that Matt has um, built up here for me here. Now, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back in time a little bit. Uh, when the lockdown first happened, we had a mission that we were going to keep you ladies crafting. That's all we talked about. How do we keep our ladies crafting? How do we keep them having fun? Oh, and gentlemen, I can, I'm sorry, I cannot forget 
you know, our Matt, he was definitely part of those conversations as well. Um, how do we keep you crafting? And now that things are starting to open up and life is getting back to normal and our summers are going to get busy again, uh, we don't want you to lose that love of crafting. We don't want you to lose that thing that helped your mental state, helped your spirits, connected you with people. Um, we don't want you to lose touch with that thing that built our crafting community. So we're going to try something new. We have put together a summer challenge kit for July. The kit is just $16 and it includes 12 by 12 paper. I think there's four sheets of pattern paper. There are stickers and there are all kinds of extra stuff in the kit. Um, and we're going to challenge you. You're going to buy that kit without seeing what's in it. I can tell you it's good. I can tell you it's fun. I can tell you it is summer themed. However, we want you to then take that kit away and make something with it. You can make cards, you can make a layout, you can make a mini album, you can make a banner, you can make one of those explosion boxes. Uh, you can So you can add cardstock, you can add, of course, your adhesive, your inks, your stamps. Uh, you could add glitter, you could add paste, you could just add whatever you want to make your project, but you do need to use that kit. And then we want you to post, we want you to post in our paper crafts inner circle. That is our VIP group, our very special group for our, our, our crafting community where so many of you are already sharing. We want you to share what you are making with this kit. Now this contest will, or this whole program will not start until July 1st, but what we will do is we will have an album set up that you can post your creations in and post, as long as the kit lasts, you can post multiple projects. You can post as many times as you want. Um, and at the end of the month, we're gonna give away a shopping voucher, a $25 shopping voucher to a randomly selected participant. Now, there are a couple of little tiny qualifications. I told you there were four papers. You need to have at least one three by three or bigger square piece, whatever, of each paper. So you have to use all four papers. You have to use at least three stickers and you have to use at least one of each of the uh, other elements in the kit. Cause some of them you got multiple or you're getting multiples of. Um, like I said, you can add your cardstock, your glitter, your paste, and basics. The majority of the project has to be the stuff from the kit. And then once you post, you'll be entered to win. You get a bonus entry if you then also post your project on your personal Facebook profile. Tag us, Paper Crafters Workshop, and use this hashtag. Now, all of this information will go in the kit, so you'll have it in writing. We will also post it all over the place. But the kit is now live, and you can go and pick it up. We've started, you know, with a smallish number just to see how you guys react to this. But if you really like it, we're going to do another one in August. So there will be a completely separate challenge, completely separate kit for August. But let's start on July. And you know what? Give us your feedback. Tell me how when you get that kit and you get uh, to see what's inside, then let me know what you think. All right. That's it for the news. We got some new stuff to show you. I'm going to start with a new, new to us company that we have just started bringing in. We've only brought in two scrapbooking collections and one card making collection. Is it three or four? I thought there was only two. There's three. Okay, my mistake. Matt's corrected me. There are three scrapbooking collections and one card making collection. So let's start with the scrapbooking. We want feedback. Tell us what you think. So we want you to buy them. We want you to play with them. We want you to tell us what you think. This is a company out of New Zealand called Three Quarter Designs. And so this first collection here is called Grunge Reinvented. Uh, if you remember last week in my newsletter, um, I asked for feedback. I wanted to hear what you guys like, what you're using, what you're playing with, what you want to see. And probably one of the most common 
pieces of feedback that I got was that you guys like vintage and you know timing could not be more appropriate because that's what these uh, papers are all about. So this one obviously is a bit more grunge but it goes right in our theme with uh, masculine making it manly, doing something a little bit different for the guys in our lives. Uh, you In this collection, you've got seven 12 by 12 papers. Now, I will tell you, they are single-sided papers. So when you see, when I say there's seven pages, like there is seven pages. There is no flip side to this, uh, this kit. Matt says we only use one side at a time anyway. So you know what? He's not wrong. You also get these little sheets here that are called off cuts. And so they are just, they're about four inches. And some of them have sentiments on it. Some of them have little quotes. Some of them are just textural, or you could use them as pattern paper. There are fussy, for fussy cutters, these are your kits because there's a whole panel of shapes and images to fussy cut out. Some other great little panels. And I believe there are chipboard pieces in here as well. So this is Grunge Reinvented. We have Grandma's Attic Collection. I'm going to flip it over this way. Um, the greens and the corals in this are just stunning. Look at some of those little cut-aparts. Look at those beautiful flowers. Um, same kind of components where you've got your seven sheets, you've got your off-cut panels, and you've got your chipboard as well. Those of you who know Darlene know that she had an influence on this particular pack called Morning Dew. Uh, the purples with the butterflies and the very vintagey feel. Look at those little fussy cut panels and the off cuts as well. And I love how this one's got a little door. Now we did open up Darlene's yesterday, so I'm gonna give you a caution. There's little doors here in the chipboard pieces. Just be careful, they don't uh, fall out. Uh, they're not attached to the door and we almost lost one yesterday. Sheila is pointing out that there are also some sample uh, layouts on the back if you need a little bit inspiration. So all of those have those layout inspirations on the back. Now, like I said, there is that was the three scrapbooking collections. We also are trying out one of their uh, card collections. And uh, this one has A4 size papers, some more off cuts, and again, some great little items to fussy cut, some chipboard, and your inspiration on the back. So we're starting slow. We want to see, yep, these are very, you know, it's so pretty. Definitely applies here. Our little catchphrase. Um, definitely try them out. Get them in your hands. Play with them. Give us your feedback. We are always looking for your feedback. And as new collections become available, we will bring them in as well and um, have lots of fun with it. So that is new from Three Quarter Design. All right, put these over here. Okay, we've got some fun little things, some fun little things from Spellbinders. And then we have some fun big things from Spellbinders. And while we're talking about Spellbinders, I got a sneak peek. I have seen some of the items that are coming for the holiday season. 79 pages of catalog. Now we have a trade show. We have an exclusive trade show with them next week. No, the week after, the 27th. So I'll be doing some training with them. I'll be playing with the new stuff. But as much as I have said this about Lawn Fawn, if you are a Spellbinders fan, grab a jar, grab a piggy bank, grab a Ziploc bag, and start saving those pennies. All right, so what have we got here from Spellbinders? So this one was um, an older one. It's backed by popular demand. Uh, it is called Handmade By. So if you like to make little tags or put a little hallmark on the back of your cards, this is now back in stock and we will try to uh, make sure we keep this in stock. You've got lo lots of little areas here where you can 
add your own little signature. Uh, we have, oh, this one is back in stock. Oh no, this is new release. This is, this one's called Reef Builder. Uh, the florals from Spellbinders have been so incredibly popular. They keep selling out. Um, these are cute little tiny flowers where you can use them on their, on their own or you can build a wreath around the center of your card, across the corner. Um, great tiny little stamps or die set that will just give you hours and hours of floral fun. We have... These are all, Matt's saying these are all from the same collection. So these are all from the June release. This one is called Leafy Sprig. Always need leaves, whether you're doing them on their own or adding extra flowers. Uh, we've got a sentiment, just wanted to say a, a glimmer set. So this is for your hot foil. There is also a coordinating or matching. Same, same. Stamp set, if you are not into the hot foil, these would look great if you were embossing them. And then last but not least here in the dies is another stitching die. So this is high. I know we've had the alphabet. Uh, this one was part of the Crop and Create delivered card making kit back in March. So if you participated in this that event, you've already got this. But I know there are people that did not participate but still love that stitching. And uh, look how they've got, again, those little flowers uh, surrounding that high. This is just the high, and you can use it on its own, or you can use it for stitching. So that is from Spellbinders. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, um, first I'm going to talk about uh, Spellbinders has come out with a new system for their plates. It's called their Universal Plate System. We literally just got our shipment yesterday, and even though I was able to participate in a training last week, I haven't actually gotten hands on with it yet. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. I probably I'm, I'm thinking what I will do is I'm going to set up a little info session, uh, a little, you know, random Facebook live where I talk you through all the ins and outs of this new universal plate system. But the, bit, the reason why I'm telling you this now, even though I'm really not going to talk about it, is the driving force behind that change was so that you could use 3D, emboss, 3D embossing folders in your Platinum 6 uh, or your larger Platinum. Um, there's always been a challenge with 3D embossing folders, whether it is uh, the Tim Holtz ones or from other brands. And now, now Spellbinders has their own 3D embossing folders. So I've only brought in a few of them just because we want to try them out. But these are a beautiful six by, these, these are five and a half by eight and a half. So they are um, a great size that you can use for your card making or your scrapbooking. I've seen people using these for photo mats and other layers on their scrapbooking in their uh, Elizabeth Craft journals. It's a fantastic size. So this one is called Tile Mosaic. We, of course, have a wood grain just in time for Father's Day. I personally, Leafy is one of my favorites. It's just got that soft, beautiful kind of foliage look that will work with so many of those beautiful um, floral dyes. I'm going to leave this one for last. Uh, this one is called Origami Folds. Love those. They, they almost look like coins. I know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And... If you love florals, then look at this beautiful, it's called Beautiful Blooms. I'm not sure if they're roses or if they're some other kind of just catch-all flower, but I really can't wait to try that in my with this new uh, plate system, and I probably will bring that out when I do this information session. So I'm actually going to look at my calendar as soon as I am off this live, so watch the newsletter tomorrow, and I will post when I'm going to do this info session on Facebook about Spellbinders 3D folders and the new universal plate system. All right, you still with me, ladies? I'm gonna take a sip of water and then we have one, one last thing left to show you. Also new from Spellbinders, kind of carrying over from uh, storage month last month. It is, the timing for it is perfect. 
All right. My whistle. Don't forget about what's happening Saturday. Oh, right. Ah, you did I did forget. So before I get to that last thing, don't forget about Tim. Tim's new color is on Saturday. We've had lots of guesses. I know what it is. Oh, Matt knows what it is. He didn't tell me he knew what it was. I think he's just teasing. But you know what? We love the anticipation too. So always put your comments. Give me your guesses in the comments here. We've got some great pre-sale bundles. Um, I know one of our shipments is already on its way. And the other one is in process. So we will have this stuff really, really soon. All right. Now that I've been segued, I'm going to get back on track. And I am going to show you the brand new assemble and store line from spellbinders so we've had totally tiffany we've had art bin we've had the avery l we've had you snap thing you know, snap albums from simple stories well this is another oh and we've had the caddy from um Sizzix for our big shot well this is this particular piece is a standalone caddy for your plates your tools your tape your glue and let me show you because the box is empty so what you know, look even comes with great instructions so here is what this one is called the die cutting station and it is made from a wood type product i don't know the official name but it's not plastic it's got a really pardon me matt's calling it a thick chipboard to feel feels like wood to me anyways it's this two layer stadium that is perfect and it's got the little notches here to hold all your plates it's got a little um, nest here for your tools these are to hang your scissors off the end let me show you the box and it's a cute little it's very compact you know it's a great little uh, station to hold all of your stuff and keep it in one place um, but there's more so that was the die cutting station for all of you foil people out there for your hot foil rolls take a look at this now i'm gonna say that this really is like lego for crafters because it comes completely flat it comes in this cute little box it comes with full instructions and all you have to do is put it together so so easy matt actually put these together in minutes as we were putting this together matt did you put the little rings on no i didn't i missed those okay I so there are little uh rubber bands that go on here as well i have one that i haven't put together yet um they uh hold the pieces together so they don't come sliding apart but this cute little station will hold two four six twelve rolls of foil and it would look something like this so you can see all your foil and all of those pretty pretty colors there are also two storage boxes <clears throat> so the first one is here this is the large storage crate and really, that's what it is. Oh, look. So he, he's put, got them on here. See how you've got that little rubber band that just holds it so it's not going to fall apart on you. It's not going to... Uh, press wood. Uh, press board. That's probably a great name for it, Sandra. Thank you. Uh, so this is a large one. I'm going to say that this is six by six on the inside. Let me get my ruler out here. Oh, a little bit bigger. It's about six and I'm going to call it six and a quarter. It's a little bit bigger than that. So again, perfect for holding your dies, your stamps. Um, you can get little organizers for it as well. There's storage pouches and tabs. Um, I'm not sure if they were available when I ordered, so they may still be in process. So that is the large one. And you know what? Because you guys are so much fun and you want to see the work in process here's the small one i haven't put it together yet matt hasn't put it together yet let's put it together together 
So you've got two long sides, you've got two short sides, you've got your base, and you've got your little uh, rubber rings to hold it all together. Matt's saying they are easy to miss in the box. So when you open up your box, make sure you're looking for these and uh, they don't end up in the trash. So we've got our base. We've got one side. We've got two sides. Come on. There we go. Nice and snug, nice and sturdy. We'll put the end in here. Maybe I should do this. And now I can't get it off. There we go. Let's do the ends first. Get it the right way. So that's going to snug. Yeah, this is why Matt builds things. This is why Charlie builds things. I am the creative genius. They are the builder of my empire. Here we go. It's just hard too when you're building something and for the first time you don't want them to break. And then our last little piece is gonna snap on. Just like that. So this one's super cute. It's a little more rectangular. Uh, looks like one direction is the same dimension. It's just a little bit shorter this way as well as height wise. So you can see them like that. And then yes, to finish it off, you take your little rubber rings. I'm just gonna pull one out to show you. Matt's saying that this is the hardest part. You're just gonna put it on and stretch. Kind of like when you had braces and you had elastics on your braces. You're just going to snug and stretch, snug and stretch on all of these little tabs. And I won't do all of them. You guys get the idea. See how easy that is. Great little storage options. I can't wait to see how these are going to fit into my craft room i gotta do the other sides but you get the idea so that is last but certainly not least the new assemble and store from spellbinders i uh, can't wait to see what else they come out with in this line i think they're going to be really versatile and i like that these little tabs you know aren't super um, poking out so you should be able to stack your boxes together on your shelf as you need without having to really rejig and push things around. All right, so that is What's New Wednesday for June the 15th. Midway through June, uh, don't forget about flash sale. Don't forget about magazine. Don't forget about new distress color. Don't forget about flash sale Friday. All of those details will be in tomorrow's newsletter. So look for your uh, updates in the in your inbox and that is me signing off for tonight uh, enjoy the wonderful weather stay safe in the thunderstorm tomorrow that we're all pretty sure is coming um, if something happens so sometimes actually most times when we have thunderstorms in Stouffville the power is sketchy so we will do our best to update you here on Facebook um, sometimes when this, the power goes, the cell service goes as well. So whatever we do, we will do our best to uh, keep you updated on our status. Uh, if we have to close or if the power is out, um, if you don't see a message from us, feel free to give us a call at the store and um, just be safe and have fun crafting. Tomorrow will be a perfect day uh, to be inside crafting. All right, signing off. Have a wonderful Wednesday and a wonderful rest of your week. Take care, everyone.